to 623 and 41 seconds central time. We shifted a little bit as we were working to fit. We are coming up on three minutes away from launch. You can see the frost line all the way up. We've just closed out prop load. Uh, the ship booster coming up shortly. If we need to, um, we do have some extra time. We're not constantly topping off the propellant in this version of Starship and Super Heavy. Once again, we're really focused on getting, sh should hopefully be seeing. There's a quick wiggle check. Checking. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff, go Super Heavy, go Starship. Thanks for all the historic flights, bad one. Vehicles catch you downrange. Booster Raptor chamber pressure nominal. Booster and ship, nominal power and telemetry. All right, we are about 45 seconds into flight. We're still getting the rattle here at Star Factory. We are seeing 33 out of 33 Raptor engines lit on Super Heavy as it arcs across the Gulf. Coming up next on Max Q. Max Q. Right, so, so at this point, we've passed through that period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. The next thing we're looking forward to. And then after that, we're going to release the clamps that are currently holding Starship. Who's running cutoff? Ship ignition. Stage separation. Use back burn startup. its ascent into outer space. Meanwhile, this boost back is happening. We're using those 13 engines, uh, so everything, well, 12 out of the 13, and then we go down to three, and then we're gonna shut down for, they look like they're close together, but there's a good amount of distance between them, and the hot stage will go down and splash down in the gulf while the booster comes. Finally, that will come down to three, and we'll cut all of them off while we're still about 200 meters in the air, so booster is gonna see a bit of a, <laughs> Booster landing room startup. Booster landing room shut down. Absolutely awesome. If you can even hear us right now, congrats to the whole <laughs> SpaceX team.